we mm. have uh, the fuel subsidy yes. removal, um, the eight hundred um, million dollars. Yes, this is my own take. You know the story. One, yes, sir. it is it is not a gift. Hmm. Eh? From the World Bank. Okay. And it is not a grant that you take it to spend it as you like. Don't come back to give account. Mm. Now part of this borrow borrow. It may come with that heavy interest rate. Mm. Of course. Then there will be a period of moratorium to pay back. But it is not a gift. And listen. Let's listen to Madame. Beautiful, the beautiful one, mm. Zena Bame. The World Bank has granted Nigeria government eight hundred million dollars to put up a comprehensive palliative scheme for each citizen. Please listen to this before oh. I repeat before the removal of West Coast by June 23, 2023. Sorry, these people had gone ahead to go and borrow $800 million as a palliative for removal of subsidy, which is coming only by June, when this administration would have gone away. Mm. The administration is the one that takes the money now. The administration said it will distribute it palliative before the removal, meaning it will finish distributing the money before 29th of May 2023, less than two months. The remover itself will come. Shaba. What type of abracadabra is this? Why is, why is Nigeria, Nigeria as a country, and Nigerians are so lucky to have this type of common, uh, common, let me use the word common. And stop there. Mm. This is this is what I said. I said, "Wow, it means this shall be happening before May May twenty nine handing over." Did who will ever grudge Buhari and his cabinet for another eight hundred million dollar additional severance severance benefits? This is come and gone. A severance benefit for the people. Uh, we shouldn't deceive ourselves. Because look at what the woman said, quote now, this is a quote. We have secured a modest sum of $800 million from the World Bank to drive the palliative and we are targeting about 10 million households or 50 million vulnerable Nigerians in the first instance. At this dark hour of the last day of Muhammad Buhari, Muhammad Buhari approved. Nobody should tell me that the man cannot cannot do it or he doesn't know. Nobody should that tell me that. What is the rules and laws of vicarious liability? Truman, President Truman, what number was in uh, the presidency level of America? He said the box stops on my table. President Muhammad Bukhari and his people have gone again to take another loan of eight hundred million dollars. Please transfer eight hundred million dollars to Nigerian Naira at current day exchange rate. And tell that's around uh, three point something billion. Anyway, it depends on the exchange rate you use. Should we use the seven hundred or the official four hundred? Which four hundred? Are you are you are you going to miss it? No, no. You I mean, you know, it's government. And you'll be going from bank to bank, so they might be using use that the, one. Use the we use the one we know. The one we know. Huh? Okay. Mm. Let me let me do that right away. What type of criminality is this? What type of criminality is this? My God, my God! What type of criminality? Is but this? but the guru, you made a statement there which I slightly disagree with. You said, as a president, the box stops at his table, at the table of the president. But for the bug to stop at your table, you must have a table, first of all. Oh, are you saying the president has no table? Uh, di- the guru, I didn't say, I'm only saying that, uh, you know, for you okay, to... No, <laughs> okay. Now, the question is this. Yeah. How much would that give to us? $800 million. At, at 700 that's around $560 billion. $560 billion, these people went to take? Yes, sir. And they will finish it? 
before they would now before the then they would leave then the new people Tinubu or whoever that is coming we now get there as a, a, a substitute remover we remove it too when the money had been spent though the woman made the statement to two quotes quickly mm. we have secured okay i've said that before yeah uh, uh, targeting about 10 million households or 50 million vulnerable Nigerians in the first instance. Mm. Then the second quote, we are currently engaging all the stakeholders. We know that various plans are being considered, including the need for buses by the labor, amongst several other palliative schemes. You cannot see why the Nigerian Labor Congress and all of them will be cried foul when they allow the thieves to have come and gone. Hmm. because they are participating in the whole thing. Was this not what they said on 2nd of January 2012 when good Lord Jonathan removed subsidy? Did they say they will buy buses for labor so that the labor will be approaching the buses to bring, to cushion the effect of transport? And now, it is not Madam, other Madam Beauty, uh, Sadia, that is sharing this. Room. This hmm. is directly now the portfolio of this woman to share around. Don't forget that they are no more working as a team, the two of them, those two beautiful girls. Because at the National Assembly, Sadia, the Minister of Humanitarian, blah, 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 mm. told them that her padded budget was not padded by her, that it was the Minister of uh, uh, finance? finance that padded the budget. You Have you forgotten that mm. story? Mm. So now, Madame is directly in charge. Why would Madame not be in charge? The palliative that the World Bank, uh, is it World Bank or IMF? World Bank, I think, or IMF, um, MF, uh, sent to Nigeria for COVID, uh, the millions in dollar. When they arrived, they, they, somebody took it and took transferred the money to China and deposited the money in a private account in China. And when the, the giver now sent a letter that let us have your acknowledgement so that we can put our books right. That was when Minister of Finance saw it, Madam Zainab. And then Madam Zainab called CBS, ah, social money come, where is it now? Uh, then CBS said, no, it's, it's fixed, it's also so fixed. Because of, then uh, Minister of Finance said, okay, you fix everything. Okay, because it's 370 something million. This 70 something million on top of it, let's have that so that we can use that to settle uh, other issues in my own ministry. Mm. The, the, the never reconcile is part of what the major problem that may come or may not come is hanging on us. So can you see the wickedness of these people? 800, they will distribute it. $800 million, they will distribute it for uh, to, to mitigate what the crime they've not committed against the people. The crime is still coming on, but they mitigate this one to me. Okay, I think uh, that should be that. Uh, that